Jesus set me free. This great God can set you free too. This great God, Jesus, can set us all free. God says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You know what brings liberty to America, the man who's so free? The Spirit of the Lord. And when we reject God, as the Democratic Party has rejected God and thrown Him out of their platforms, you'll find that you're not going to be free. You're not going to be free to fly any more than a kite can fly without its string. If you just want to cut the string, that's fine. You can. That's your choice. But you'll come fluttering to the ground. And unfortunately, America is fluttering to the ground right now. So can I ask you a few questions? I think it's interesting that they've brought some women out here today. The previous protests were all men. So do you believe that a woman, woman can't get uh, pregnant from being raped? Uh, well, to begin with, they didn't bring me out. I brought myself out. And there's a lot of women who are pro-life. The reason you don't see a lot of women here is a lot of them are all taking care of their babies. Can you answer my do question? I, well, I'm going to address what you first said. Do I think you can get pregnant by being raped? Uh, look at Rebecca Kiesling. She was conceived in rape. Of course you can get pregnant by being raped. Okay, so the Republicans are wrong on that point that you can't get uh, pregnant from being raped. Well, did the Republicans say that or did one man say that? The Republicans have said that. Actually, Todd Akin said that, but he misspoke and he's apologized for it sincerely. Actually, uh, Jeff Flake from Arizona, uh, Paul Ryan. Is it the Republican Ryan. platform? It, I don't know if it's in the Republican platform. It's but not in the Republican platform. And yes, of course you can get pregnant by being raped. Okay, so if you got raped, you would gladly bear that child. I wouldn't murder that child because of the sins of the child's father, so absolutely not. I would not kill my baby, okay. no matter how my baby was conceived. And you would raise that child? Absolutely. And so do you think it's, do you think it's uh, just for a group like yours to tell other people what to do? do I Don't we have freedom? A group like us to stand up for a baby not being murdered? Absolutely. Do you believe in the criminal punishment, capital what punishment? What to do with abortion? That has to do with murder. Uh, make the connection for me. An innocent baby compared to a um, guilty person. Make but if you are, if you are for right to life, wouldn't that be everybody's life? So do you believe in uh, Head Start and uh, the WIC program One and taking with abortion? We are here talking about abortion. That takes care of that child once it's born. What? Why does every liberal here think that we don't do anything to take care of the children once they're born? It's this huge misconception. I think it's because you guys can't stand the fact that you murder babies. You want to do anything you can to say, oh, we don't take care of them once they're born. That's a lie. You don't take care of them once they're born. Yeah. What are you doing to stop the murder of these innocent babies? What am I doing to stop the murder of innocent brave babies? I think that we should provide uh, contraception and we should provide education to young girls. Okay. If young girls know that they should stay safe and not have unprotected sex, there would be fewer fewer abortions. Okay. So I I believe we should preach abstinence and safe education. We yes. can't we can't be ignorant and say that everybody's going to wait for marriage. I mean that's not logical. Right. I'm with you on that. The problem is, though, that has nothing to do with the murder of a baby. Once it does. The ba no, it doesn't. Once the baby is there, it is murder. Prevention and abortion are not the same. Abortion is not birth control. It burst, I agree with you on that. Abortion is not birth control. But if young girls were told how how their lives would be ruined, basically, they, they're more likely to live in poverty if they have a have a, 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 a child when they're like, say, 15, 14 years old. You think that that's okay for those girls who made a mistake or maybe got raped to live in poverty for the rest of their lives? Well, do you think it's okay to kill a baby? You're not answering my question. I don't think it's okay for No, you're not answering my question. I am answering your question. No, you're just okay. you're sticking to your no, talking I, points. Oh, that's, that's funny because I think that's what you're doing. You're trying to take me around in circles. Do I think it's okay for a woman to live in poverty? No. But I think your statistic is wrong and false. But I don't think we should cast off our young women and force them at 14, 15, 13 years old to have an unwanted pregnancy. Well, I don't think we should murder innocent babies. Right. So we should help 
help those young girls, right? We should help them, but not with murder. No purpose. I said we should help them. Yeah. And so that we, that, that, them, that we agree murder. on, that we agree on. We should help those like young, girls. young girls. But should we help them kill their babies? I wasn't saying well, that. But th that is, that's what, that is what you're saying. No. Because you're for abortion. You're for the murder of You know what? Babies. I'm for the morning after pill. I'm for contraception. I'm for helping young, abortion. I'm for helping young girls raise up. And abortion is a, is a final choice. It's a, it's a desperate choice. Horrible it's a, it is I agree. In the state of Arizona, they've said that a woman is actually pregnant two weeks before conception. Do you think that that's a good idea? Do you think they're going to have menstruation registries someday? Do you think you're going to have? Do you think vaginal ultrasound is okay? Should they force you to have a vaginal ultrasound before you're uh, before you're um, have an abortion to show you what the baby looks like and then charge you for that vaginal Should ultrasound? They is that okay? You to have an ultrasound? No. They they Should do. In the state of Arizona, in the state of Virginia, and several other states in this country, they will force women to have a vaginal ultrasound and pay for it themselves. I live in North Carolina. It's a law coming they, your way, I'm sure. Right, though. It should be a right, though, for them to have an ultrasound. They no, should they're know, forced to have. They should know what they're doing. They should know that the baby has a but heart. But they're heart being forced to do it. They're being they forced to do it. No. So we we agree we agree on a few things, right? Oh, absolutely. We agree that uh, young women should be educated uh, in order yes. to try to avoid. Avoid, Absolutely. avoid abortion. We wonderful. also agree that they should be given uh, contraception. No, I never said that. You said that. No, actually, you did say that I at know, one point. You, well, actually, no, contraceptive you can, you care can play it. and no, the morning after that. pill. No. So you're not good. You're not actually for helping them. Replay your tape. I never said we should give free I will contraception. Re I shouldn't have to pay for some young girl. Oh, no, no, I didn't say free. Okay. I'm just saying that it should be available to them. Contraception should be You're available find to them. There are a lot of people that will disagree with me. Yes, I think not in, not in our high schools. But yeah, I think that, you know. Well, high school girls can get pregnant. 11 year old girls can but get do pregnant. I think that the high school should take a stance and give out contraception? Absolutely. I not. didn't say that. Okay. Should there be contraception for people who have sex? Yes. Okay. Should I have to pay for it? No. Okay. Should it be available in our high schools? No. Contraception is not abortion. Uh, uh, morning it's after a prevention. Kill, however, it's a prevention, but abortion is murder. Morning after kill? No. It is murder. When the baby is there, and I'm talking about conversation, conception, the baby is there. So it's okay for an 11-year-old girl who was raped to have a baby? How many times do we have to say That's what you said. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's okay because it's murder. So it's okay for an 11-year-old girl to have a baby? Uh, the sins of the father have nothing to do with the baby. Why it, so you, you're saying it's okay for a raped young girl to have a baby? Why would you kill No, answer my question. Why would you kill the baby? So yes, is your answer. Of the father? Your answer is yes, it's okay for an 11-year-old girl who was raped to have a baby. Yes. Okay.